Hi. So today I'm going to show you the best uh, CS2 settings for your uh, FPS, for visibility and for smoothness. Um, these settings I have tested meticulously and I've come to the conclusion. I'm, I'm going to give you some tips. These are not like set in stone settings, but I'm just going to explain kind of what you get with these settings. So if you obviously if you want maximum FPS, you're going to set everything to low. Your game's going to look like dog shit and you're just going to have a million FPS and you're going to be playing a 90s uh, shooter with bad like 8-bit textures. But these settings that uh, I have compiled give you the best possible visibility with the highest amount of FPS possible. So boost player contrast is a must enable. This uh, really changes the way that you see players. Um, it, it gives you a white halo around them when they're far away from you. It really helps a lot with the visibility, especially with those little campers in the corners when you're peeking a corner. Um, the NVIDIA G-Sync, if you have a G-Sync monitor, it's not bad to turn it on. I don't have it. V-Sync is always uh, disabled. And I turn on reflex low latency as it, uh, it decreases FPS slightly, but it uh, f um, it helps with the latency of your inputs. Now, don't even touch the current video values preset. We're going to do it custom. We are going to be setting all of these values on our own. The multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode. Now, if you have a better computer, I do recommend 2x MSAA and or either 4x MSAA, but 2x is plenty. But if you're looking for the maximum amount of FPS without your game looking like dog shit, it's the CMAA2 works very well. Global shadow quality, not important at all. Put that on low. Dynamic shadows, not that important. You can put it on sun only or all. I have it on all, but it's not that important. Model texture detail, not important at all. Put it on low. Um, texture filtering mode, now... People are going to be asking, like, what, why the hell did you put it at 16x? Doesn't that decrease your FPS? It decreases my FPS so slightly. And with all of these other un useless settings on low, like shader detail is also on low, particle detail is also on low, anisotropic filtering actually improves the visuals of your game quite a lot with, like, 5 FPS impact on 16x or like 10 FPS impact on 16x. It's really not that big of a deal. So, of course, trilinear is like, it's alright, I guess, but bilinear is just horrible. So either put it on like 2x or 4x if you're scared about losing that like 3-4 FPS. But I honestly recommend it on 16x. It just looks so much better without impacting the FPS that much. Ambient occlusion, absolutely disabled. What this does is it just gives a shadow to your to other player models. It's completely useless. If you're one of those guys that just wants to like, oh, I saw the shadow around the corner, like, no, you're not going to ever use this. For the amount of FPS that it uh, lowers, it's really not worth it. High dynamic range, set it to performance because it doesn't really do anything on quality. It just lowers your FPS and the quality is really not that good. And the Fidelity FX Super Resolution is also very useless. So just disable it. Put it on highest quality, I guess. Um, the amount of um, performance you get and uh, how much it tanks the actual visual appeal of your game is really not worth it. Um, so these are the, the best settings, I would say. Uh, you can play around with the multi-sampling, anti-aliasing, and with the texture filtering. All of these other settings are pretty much... This, this is the best version of them, so I would stick to that. Thanks, and good luck.